here at the Conan Collection of the Museum of Natural and Cultural History at the University of Oregon, we've been preserving these uh, mammoth teeth for many, many years. People pick them up all over the place. This particular one is from Texas. It's just one tooth. Uh, mammoths sadly are no longer uh, with us, but uh, thanks to the museum, I'm able to embark on a new research project where I'm looking at a trackway of mammoths in Fossil Lake in Central Oregon, a historically famous place for fossils in Oregon. And I think we can learn from trackways uh, quite a bit that we can't learn from bones, particularly about behaviors. Uh, this particular trackway looks like it's mummy and babies, a matriarchal herd, which would be really great. Uh, we need this new statue for the mammoth, uh, for the museum, because mammoths are probably the most promising prospect for de-extinction. It's been estimated that we have enough DNA from them from fossil marrow bones and we have the genetic code from the Asian elephant. We can probably make a new one in about 40 years and this tallies very much with what we're trying to do with the museum. Uh, we have a big effort in conservation paleobiology with uh, Samantha Hopkins and Edward Davis and we're looking a lot at ancient creatures to try to see what it is that made them go extinct and what it is that made them survive and conserve biodiversity for the future.